Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.11 from Sadiku book. So the question is find V0 and the power dissipated in all the resistors in the circuit of figure 3.60. Okay, we have the figure here and we are given the bottommost node here is the ground. So the voltage here will be 0 and this is the node V0 we already given by the problem. And what else can we infer from this circuit? This node is 60 volt from the ground. So I will have 60 here. And this node here is minus 24 from the ground. Because this is the negative terminal. So I will have minus 24. Okay, that's good. And now let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this will be goes to the right. And this will goes down. And this will goes to the right. Okay, good. We are all set now. We need to do KCL at V0. So now let's write that. KCL, the Kirchhoff current law, at the node V0. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that is going in is equal to all the sum of the currents that goes out. Okay. The only current that goes in is this one. And remember, the arrow is going from this node to this node. So we will have 60 minus V0. So I'll have 60 minus V0 divided by the resistance between them. And the resistance between them is 12 ohm. So I will have this divided by 12. Okay. And this is the only current that goes in. All the other currents is goes out. So I'll have this one and this one. So I put the equal sign here, and for this current branch here, I will have P0 minus 0, because the current is flowing from this node to this node. So I will have P0 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them. So I will have 12 ohm there. Good. And now using the, this same logic, I will have plus P0 minus minus 24 so i have v0 minus minus 24 good and then divided by the resistance between them which is six okay now let's do some math here i just still leave this as is so i'll have 60 minus v0 divided by 12 and then v0 minus 0 is just v0 divided by 12 and then plus, this one will be V0 minus N minus becomes plus. So I will have plus 24. That's good. Now divide it by 6. Okay, that's good. Now let's multiply both sides here by 12. Okay, because we can get rid of all the denominator. 12 and 12 will cancel each other. So I will have 60 minus V0. And then 12 and 12 will cancel each other. So I will have V0. And then 6 and 12 will cancel into 2. And we multiply 2 with the denominator. So I will have 2 V0 plus 20. Okay, what we need to do is just solve this. Maybe let's let's let 60 there. But then V0 plus V0 is 2 V0. And then let's distribute this to V0 and then plus 48 right okay let's move this 48 to the left hand side 60 minus 48 that will be 12 and that will equal to 4 V0 okay so we'll have V0 is 12 divided by 4 now we can get V0 is 3 4 Okay, this is the important value because we are asked to find V0. So this is V0. That's good. And now what's next? The power dissipated by all the resistors. So we need to find out the power in this resistor, dissipated by this resistor, dissipated by this resistor, and dissipated by this resistor. So the power the power by this 12 ohm resistor we will have remember the power we can use p squared over p 
resistance. And what is the voltage? 60 minus V0. So I will have 60 minus V0. V0 is 3, right? So I will have 3 squared divided by 1. That will be, yeah, I think I will need calculator to do that. 60 minus 3 squared divided by 5. Okay, I will have 270.75. And then this 12 ohm, the other 12 ohm. We also have V squared over R. But this time I will have V0 here is 3 volts, so we will have 3 minus 0 squared divided by 1. Okay, I think I just leave it to the calculator. Yeah, 3 minus 0, right? 3 minus 0. 3 over 4 or 0 0.75. 0 0.75 watt. And then for this one, the 6 ohm here, again we can have V squared over R. And we will have 3, but then minus and minus becomes plus, so I'll have plus 24. And then square divided by 1. Yeah, I think I just leave it into calculator again. It's not 12, but the resistance is 6 right here. Okay, sorry about that. So I have 6 here. Okay, we'll have 3 plus 24. Okay, I will have 60.75. 60.75. Okay, that is all three resistors. So I will have the total power dissipated. We can just uh, add them up, right? So we will have this it 270.75 plus 0.75 and then plus 60.75. Good, that should be this one, 332.25, 332.25, and the unit here will be what? And let's highlight that because that is the final answer that is asked by the question. Okay, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.